to solve the problem by using Scoggestern method, we identify the second largest time constant here as the largest neglected time constant. So this example we have three as the largest neglected transfer uh, time constant. Why we call it uh, largest neglected time constant? Because we are going to use the largest time constant. We are going to consider the largest time constant as the transfer function time constant and the rest will be neglected and between those neglected time constants this is the largest neglected time constant so according to his half rule half of this value is added to the next largest time constant to generate a new time constant for example the first half of the second largest time constant is 3 over 2 which is 1.5 so 1.5 plus 5 we have 6.5 this is the value so the new time constant will be tau equals to 5 the largest plus half of the second largest which is equivalent to the 6.5 so this is the result of the new approximated time constant then the other half provides the new time delay of 1.5 meaning that the second half of this value will be added as time delay next the approximation of right half plane 0 here right half plane 0 provides an additional time delay of 0 0.1 and then approximating the smallest time constant of 0 0.5 in this function produces additional time delay of 0 0.5 therefore the total time delay from this problem is theta equivalent to 1.5 from here plus 0 0.1 from here and plus 0 0.5 from here so we have the total of 2.1 time delay therefore we have 6.5 time constant and 2.1 time delay by using Scorgested approximation.